Welcome. Today, we'll construct a regular hexagon. So a regular hexagon, it's a figure with six sides where all sides are congruent. So the objective here is to construct this figure where AB is one of the sides of this regular hexagon. So the way that we're going to go about it is we're going to get our compass and I'm going to start by measuring the length from A to B. And now that I have that length, I want to create a mark on the top. And I'm going to move my metal leg to B, and I'm going to create the same mark in here. Notice that this is going to be an intersection. Now that we have that intersection, let me move my metal leg to the intersection and find the distance to B. Now that we have that distance, let's create a circle. And notice that the radius of the circle is going to be the distance from the intersection to B. Now that we have that circle, let me go back and measure the distance from A to B, which notice that is still the same. Using the same distance, move it to B and make a mark on your circle. And we're going to repeat the same process. Now let me move my middle leg and let me put it back on, on the mark and create a new mark. And I'm going to repeat the same process. Move the middle leg to the mark and create a new mark. Move it, create a new mark. Move it and create a new mark. Notice that I'm a little bit off here. That's just because of the program that I'm using. So I'm just going to extend it a little bit just to have it here. Let's mark all the intersections within the circle. Now let's connect all of those intersections. Now let's highlight the figure that we have created. Now this figure that we have just highlighted is exactly what we wanted to find. This figure, it's a regular hexagon. Because notice how many sides we have. We got six sides, and in addition, all of the sides are congruent to each other. So it fits the definition of a regular hexagon. Now let's take a look at one more example. What if we want to construct a regular hexagon and we're not given a side? The way that we're going to go about it is we're going to get our compass and we're just going to create, it doesn't matter what the radius is, I'm just going to create some circle. Now let's make sense of the radius of the circle. The center of the circle is going to be about here. And what we're going to do now is using this radius, that we have just created, we're going to perform the same as we did before. Let me go back to my compass here and let me create a mark. Move my compass, make another mark. Move my compass, create another mark. And we're going to repeat the same process as before. Now let's highlight those intersections. Now let's connect those intersections. Now let's highlight the figure that we have created. And notice that we have constructed a regular hexagon. And now one thing to notice is that it doesn't really matter what the radius is. Let's just do it one more time. But now let's use a smaller radius. Let's do a very small radius, very small circle. Let's mark the center. Let's find the radius, which is about there. And let's do the same process. Put your, put your metal leg in the circle, make your first mark, and just go around making the same mark using the same distance. Let's mark our intersections. Let's connect those intersections. Now let's highlight the figure that we have created. So notice that we have created another regular hexagon. The important thing to know about this is that the side of the regular hexagon is equal to the radius of the circle. Hello. If you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.